got next. Like it or not, Die Hard Year One is happening, and director Len Wiseman gave some tidbits on what fans of the franchise can expect to see. He described the new film as a prequel slash sequel and stated that both him and Willis had lengthy discussions about John McClane's origin story after the duo made Live Free or Die Hard. After doing the fourth one, there were so many conversations that Bruce Willis and I were having about what he put into the character for Die Hard 1. That character comes in with so much baggage emotionally and experience. He's already divorced, he's bitter, his captain hates him and doesn't want him back. So what created that guy? The film itself will take place on New Year's Eve 1979 and will also feature inner cuts with a modern day McLean. Mark Byers sell these comments about Die Hard Year One by Wiseman. Oh my God, I don't know how hard I can sell these comments. This just <laughs> feels like you're trying to unclog a toilet with a plunger made of poop. It just It's getting worse and worse <laughs> and worse for Die Hard. Why are we going back in time in the first place? Now we're going to have a modern day McClain who we've seen in the last two movies. It's not really John McClain anymore, is That's it? Ever, it's Bruce Willis. Ever since he lost those last few hair plugs he had in, <laughs> in the Die Hard with a Vengeance, it's like you're just watching an actor get a paycheck. And I hate saying that because I'm a huge fan of Die Hard. It's the best action movie of all time. I love the franchise. Look for your Die Hard was okay. I didn't hate Live Free or Die Hard. It could have been redeemed by Die Hard 5. It went totally in the opposite direction. And now that we're doing a prequel on New... First of all, now we have the other question. Who's going to be playing young John McClane? I mean, this takes place nine years before Nakatomi Plaza. So who do you get to play a young Bruce Willis? Do we just take whoever they don't want for Han Solo and throw him in <laughs> yeah. as Bruce Willis? That's another iconic character that had a sense of humor, that had action chops, that could do it all. And I don't know that you're just going to pluck that person off the street. You could have maybe you put young Joseph Gordon-Levitt in there again. Right. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. throw a lot Looper. of makeup on him. <laughs> this idea just sounds so awful to me. And you're intercutting it just so you can have Bruce Willis in there. Maybe he's telling his story to somebody like he's, you know, it, it, Captain Ahab narrating what happened out on the sea. This just seems like such a doomed project. I am so bummed by this news that it continues to go forward. Schnapp, how do you feel? You know what? I, I was thinking about selling it. But I'm going to buy it now because you just said something that made me think uh -oh. could be cool. Joseph Gordon-Levitt playing <laughs> the younger McLean. How badass would that be? Is I, your favorite guy, Joy, Jai Courtney, he might be in it, right? Because he plays Bruce. Or is that Christian? That's Christian's favorite. Christian dude. is not a Jai Courtney fan. I, but look, I don't think a lot of people are Jai Courtney fans, at least if you just take his sample size from Die Hard 5. Right. And why would he be in the movie? You see, now that him and his old man are better, are they? Is, is he conducting an interview with his dad about what happened on New Year's Eve in 1970? Yeah. Come but on. if Joseph Gordon Levitt is playing McLean, that got me. That just got me like where I'm like, I can't 100% sell it. If if the majority of the film is this cool 1979, like kind of thriller, like a cop thriller, we don't know what happened. Maybe he went through so much rough stuff. You know, Len Weissman has had a few good films and he's had some really bad films. So, you know, the jury is really out for him. I'm not going to totally throw him under the bus and say he can't make a good film. This isn't me just complaining about Len Weissman because I think he can make a yeah. good movie. It's just the idea in general. And when you read that article, which you can check on a collider.com, it's like he's talking about how there was so much stuff going on with this cop. He was a beat cop. Right. He didn't know if he'd make detective. His his relationship with his wife was crumbling as it was just beginning. And I'm like, that's all that's all fine and well. That could be a nice movie. But it's not a diehard movie. What do you Wait, what, where are we going to find the time to put all that stuff? And how is that going to be anywhere near as exciting as John McClane jumping off the roof of Nakatomi or on the wing of a plane mm. or running around the streets of New York with Samuel L. Jackson? Well, I'm selling it as well. I don't really care. I didn't care for the last two movies. And also, when you think about Die Hard, the original one, that was John McClane's origin story. We don't need to see what happens before that. The John McClane we know was kind of created that night. Yes. So if, if it's nine years before, what are we wa watching? Because there's no way they can make anything that's going to be bigger than, than the first Die Hard. So they have to tone it down. So we're going to watch a, kind of a toned down Die Hard intercut with something in the future. I mean, the only way I could see them doing it is making it more of like some sort of mystery thriller, but that's not what Die Hard is. Die Hard's supposed to be an action film. Yeah, and I'll, I'll, I'll repeat my thoughts. I think this could be a good movie if you didn't have Die Hard attached to it. If you had somebody else, and look, Bruce Willis has proven that over the years he can commit to a role, and he's done it recently, sporadically, but he has done it recently. It just feels like for a Die Hard movie, I'm a huge Die Hard fan. That's why I'm bitching about this so much, is that I really think that there's premises out there. There's ideas that have been floated. That somebody took out an entire page ad in like the New York Times saying, this is not 
the movie you should do. Here's the movie you should do. And we all read that. We're like, that sounds pretty cool. If you want to go back to the origins of John McClane, Dennis is right. You go back to Nakatomi Plaza. And there was an idea floating around about how Nakatomi would be celebrating some anniversary in Japan. They'd be honoring John McClane and he'd go there and then some terrorists take that over. That sounds like such a better idea than what we have with Die Hard Year One. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.